So verse one, it says the word now. It doesn't say tomorrow. It doesn't say next week. God said now. So God said that he started moving, but nothing had changed in their situation yet. So even if you feel like he's not moving, he is. Even if you feel like nothing's happening, something's happening. Um, and God is working even when you can't feel it. But Moses poured his heart out to God and only God will get the glory. Verses two through five, God remembered the promise he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he has heard the Israelites cry. Verses six through eight, it reminded me when God said, you know, when Moses said, um, who do I say sent me? You know, what do I tell them? And God said, I am, you know, tell them I am sent you, which I think is so cool. This kind of reminds me of that. He says, I am the Lord. God alone will deliver the Israelites out of Egypt and the promised land. So we need to be careful that we give God the, the glory of the good that happens in our lives. Um, but as a side note, you know, God will use people to bless others and he doesn't impose his will on anyone. Everyone has a choice. And so you can either make a choice to live for God and, and live out his, his will for your life. Um, or you can choose not. And, you know, sometimes people, sometimes people think that God is not moving in their lives when it's really God is waiting for you to move and for you to have faith. Um, he will move, but we need to take action. Verse nine, Moses reported this to the Israelites, but they didn't listen because of their circumstances. And that's a really important place to think about. You know, if you're in a bad situation or if you have bad circumstances or unfortunate circumstances and you're thinking, you know, why should I even have faith in God? Because of look at everything going on in my life. Um, the Israelites were on the verge of a breakthrough and they could have missed it. Um, because of their circumstances, looking at their circumstances. So take your eyes off of your circumstances and look at your creator and know that he is working it out for you. Verses 10 through 12, God told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh and to let the Israelites go. The same thing that God told Moses before. And Moses asked God, you know, if the Israelites wouldn't listen to me, then why would Pharaoh? And I'm not even going to judge Moses. I probably would say the same thing, unfortunately. But we need to have faith as, you know, as foolish as something sounds to us. I mean, he's God. Why would we ever question God? You know, um, I don't know. Just we're silly humans sometimes. Verse 13, the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron about the Israelites and Pharaoh. And then it goes on to list the head of families for the Levites from which Moses and Aaron um, were from as well as Reuben and Simeon and Perhaps it's clarifying, you know, which Moses and Aaron really uh, did this and helped and helped with, um, you know, bringing the Egyptians, uh, I'm sorry, the Israelites out of slavery, out of Egypt into the promised land. Verse 26, Moses and Aaron, um, the Levites. And I thought that was worded kind of um, interesting. Uh, it sounds like someone was thinking about the story as it already happened because it was in past tense, but... I don't know. I don't know if that's such a big deal. Verse 28 through 30. Um, and it's just kind of a repeat of what God said earlier. He said, I am the Lord. Tell Pharaoh to free my people. And then again, Moses doubts. So I don't know. Really interesting. I wonder why this chapter was broken up by that lineage or, um, you know, just that clarity of which Moses and Aaron led the Israelites to freedom. Um, I don't know. So if you know, you can comment and let me know. <laughs> um, but what did you learn about uh, this chapter? What did you learn from it? Please share with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video and like it. It helps for this video to be uh, found by others in the YouTube algorithm. I post a new Bible study video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I can't wait to study the Bible with you again.